Old Boy, back with another vlog slash me talking in front of the camera. Which one is the camera? It's that one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see you out there. Hello there, welcome. I uh, went down, um, well, I showered up, got ready. Hey, put my new uh, shirt on that I got from the museum. It's awesome. You'll see more of it on the uh, next time I uh, stream. But uh, went down and got me uh, two cups of coffee. I'm double fisting them here. They're so small, they're so dinky. Americana is what they call it, I don't know. I just pressed a button that says Americana. It's just black coffee, I guess. That is one thing that uh, I've really enjoyed is the is the coffee around here. Uh, very, very good, very good coffee. One thing that I don't understand, and I thought it was a uh, fluke, the, the last hotel that we stayed in, no, there's no washcloths. They don't, they don't give you a washcloth. How am I supposed to clean my dirty body if you don't give me a washcloth? Is that a thing here in Spain? I thought it was just an anomaly, like a fluke. And then I get to this hotel, same thing, no washcloth. What's the deal? But to make up for that, there's this cool little thing. When you walk in the door, there's a little, there's a little place where you put your, your key card, and that turns on all the lights. And then, and it, so I guess the idea is they don't want people leaving the lights on. So as you leave the room, you pull your card and then the lights go off. That's pretty genius, I'd have to say. Anyway, uh, Fernando Alonso, the FA Racing Team, Logitech G, Esports. Whew, big, big media event today at the uh, museum. And uh, like I said in the last vlog, it was, it was just, he shows up. Did the thing, it was over. I uh, wish I could have spent more time in there, really. Because uh, I don't really know much about uh, all the cars that were in there. I had a brief, just a brief, you know, maybe 20 minutes to kind of look around and check everything out. And I tried to take it all in. And it's really cool the way he's got it all set up. It, it goes chronologically. You know, in that first part of the last vlog, you saw the, the little karting room and there's a video playing, like, showing, showing him when he's a kid, like, destroying people in, in carts, you know. You know, the guy's just been a champion his whole life. Um, and then you move on and uh, the cars get bigger and faster and the, the, the trophies get bigger and shinier and uh, you go upstairs and it just goes chronologically from all the years that he's been racing and all the... Um, all the accomplishments, all the trophies, like I said, all behind glass. It has fire suits and uh, helmets, and it's just really, really cool. And I guess I heard that they're going, they need to expand, make the museum bigger, because he just keeps winning. Uh, that, that is the best problem to have. You know, I keep winning races. I need to make my museum bigger. Okay, that's, that's when you know you got something going that's going good. <laughs> but um, I thought that was pretty funny. Because uh, they assume, I would assume they'd want the two new uh, cars in there um, from uh, Sebring and um, um, Spacing on the other one. But yeah, he just recently won two races. So the, uh, Daytona and, and Sebring, they, 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 I guess the plan would be that they'd get those cars in there. So um, that'd be cool. I'll, I'll have to come back and see them, you know? You know? So anyway. Um, so while we were there, they did get a chance. I forgot my um, um, iRacing poster that you see on the stream, that iRacing banner. I forgot it. Um, so I, I, I couldn't have him sign something that I forgot. But Charlie with FA Racing, he was cool enough to uh, get some postcards. And then uh, he signed all the postcards. Can I get that in frame? Okay, great. So it's just a regular postcard that you get in the gift shop. And so that's a real signature right there, the man himself. So I'll probably put that up on the on the stream in the background, even though it's really small. But um, yeah, that's cool that he uh, took took time to do that in between him being rushed around and you know interviews here and pictures here and um, like I said in the last vlog, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that we were doing that I couldn't vlog because we were being recorded either. Um, just kind of in the background. I don't know how any of the footage is going to come out. I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, there was a time where Fernando was in the simulator. They had two simulators kind of sitting like this. And he was in one of them. And I uh, forget who else was in the other one. One of the racer uh, members was in the other one. And we were all just kind of like in the background, just like watching. And 
I, I don't know if it's going to be B-roll or what, but, uh, and then I'm there and I'm supposed to be like talking with him. So, and, and, and he's trying Project Cars 2 and he's at uh, Brands Hatch and, you know, I'm like, yeah, Project Cars 2, you know, I'm like, yeah, how about that AI, you know, and he had to reset a couple of times because he kept wrecking, but uh, it, it's, it's tough to just jump right in on some car combo and, you know, and just try to do well and it's against the AI and everyone's watching, you know, so, um, but yeah, I was trying to, trying to talk to him, you know, but uh, uh, anyway, so we'll see how that turns out. It was fun though. He's, he is a cool guy. I think even he was just like, not overwhelmed, but just like, okay, well, I'm doing the racing thing. Get some footage. Okay, and done with that, you know. But he probably didn't know what he's like. What's this crazy American talking about? <laughs> but uh, no, it was a it was a good time, and he's got his own little track there. Runs the karting school. Um, his whole museum's there. There's a there's a restaurant there. I mean, if you know, I'm sure you just, you just hang out there, you know, if you wanted to. But um, everything's there. And nice, nice gift shop. They had um, lots of things that I wanted to buy, but they're too expensive. And how am I gonna get them home? You know. So I did. I did get a shirt. I should have got like a keychain or something. But um, next time, next time. But uh, no, it was really cool. All the drivers. A lot of the drivers. You know, it's a language problem. So you try to hang out, and talk to them as best you can. But there's, you know, we're, it we're lost in translation. Uh, translation barrier there. Um, but yeah, they're all cool guys. Um, uh, they're you know the FA Racing team is 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 you know a lot of different sims. You're talking you know R Factor Two, I Racing. Um, you know they do stuff in GT Sport, and um, you know they they un, unlike me where I'm just a one trick pony, they they can cover multiple sims and be really competitive at it. And uh, it was cool that Logitech G was there and had all the uh, equipment there set up for the uh for the simulators uh, i personally didn't get in the simulator at all um we just didn't have time it was a time issue you know so you just try to fit everything in there and then like the video showed we went outside and they had the uh, uh the reno there and the real racing team and some carts there and nice little photo photo op there um but uh, yeah i mean I mean, what is it? What is this video? The same video as last time, just without the cool shots. I'm just explaining what happened today, I guess. Um, but I guess I uh, just wanted to uh, just talk about esports and kind of my thoughts on where it's going. Um, and I, I just think that we're in like the infancy stages of esports. You know, no one's really sure of the correct path to take uh, when it comes to stuff like this. I think people are very ambitious. Uh, I think uh, uh, people people know that there's a potential here. You know, we've seen it in other games, uh, mostly first-person shooter games. You know, now they're selling out arenas for huge amounts of money. Uh, money is on the line. And uh, I think most people in sim racing understand that eventually we're going to get to a place where, I mean, I, I hope this is how people are dreaming, is that you get to a place where there will be like a sold-out arena to watch people race fake cars. But the thing about it is, there's a whole nother aspect to sim racing when it's compared to its real life counterpart. If you're if you're in esports for uh, just say Counter-Strike, uh, you, you're not gonna go uh, sign up for the military and, and expect to be good. There's no crossover there, there's no crossover. And with, when, when, and with sim racing, it is, the, the, the easiest, not the easiest, but in, in terms of going from a video game to a, the real life counterpart, that transition there is is real and proven and tested and we've already seen that. We have evidence of that. Uh, you look at Enzo uh, beating a real life uh, driver. You see people like Glenn McGee going from sim racing to uh, real life racing in the Mazda. There's that crossover and I guess it all depends, and, and, you know, in the future, people talk about, well, we can't be, you know, everything's going to go to electric, the car's going to be electric, and it's like, well, we, you know, then then you have the safety issues, and it's like, well, you know, I, I'm not saying I agree with this, but um, will we see less real-life racing and more simulated racing? Is that a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Is it is it a good idea to put a sim racer in a real car to compete? 
is what what are the benefit what you know everyone's talking about well is money really the bottom line or is it the passion does, does someone have pat a passion for uh sim racing more than they would have a passion for real racing it, it, the or um the reason you get into sim racing is to become a real life racer or somebody that just sim racing that's all they want to do um so i think it's it's just a it's really just an evolution that we're going through and i don't really know i, I think in, and i think everyone has their own different opinion about it you know is it awesome to see is it awesome to see sim racers go and start doing real racing yes of course is it cool to see real life racers go back to the sim and 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 you know see improvements in their in their real life uh, uh stuff am i rambling i feel like i'm rambling no um uh, i'm just talking about esports i i guess it's just an ongoing conversation of where is it going where is it headed where is it now where where was it and you see it's 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 uh definitely on the way up as far as you know all, people throwing money at tournaments these big events and i was thinking you know for esports, uh, for racing esports, we don't have like the definitive series uh, yet. Uh, uh, similar to like the football has the big Super Bowl at the end of the year. Uh, you know, uh, you know NASCAR has their huge event like Daytona or something. Um, you know, even for uh, regular football, you have like the World Cup and or or even like you have like the Olympics for certain sports. That's like the pinnacle level. You know, everyone's training for it. Everyone's gearing up for it. Everyone, that's what you strive for. What is that for sim racing esports? What will be the definitive series that comes out of all this that every team gets ready for? Every team gets prepped for? Everybody's eyeballs are on it, you know? Huge broadcast, huge uh, media events. And, you know, is it going to take place in a location? Is it going to take place online? Are there going to be uh, uh, regional round robin tournaments to get to this final stage? Is there going to be a playoff series? It, you know, different tiered sections. Um, you know, the possibilities are absolutely endless. But that would be so cool to where maybe it happens every two years, maybe it's every three years, where you're all building up to something. You have all these esports teams, you know, organizing and forming and and and, and creating their own teams and 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 gearing up for a certain event or a series of events, you know, these high level prestige level races, um, and tournaments and, and esports competitions where there's huge prize money, huge sponsors, huge, uh, viewing audience. Um, I, I, I just kind of, kind of picture in my mind, you know, uh, like the hype building up to the race, you know, and how all the teams are doing. And if there's qualifying, uh, sessions and, you know, the whole, the whole media thing going on with, you know, interviews of drivers and team managers and, and just, you know, I can just see all the branding and the different teams and who's rooting for who. And, um, but I think it would take that real definitive series, like have like an actual season laid out, multiple sims, a single sim. I don't know who's, who will prevail. Uh, you know, what sim is going to be the go-to sim for esports? I think it's still up in the air. It, it can almost be anybody. Is, is the prize pool going to determine uh, what what series what sim is gonna uh, gonna matter the most? Um, if uh, R Factor Two or if uh, like an I Racing or even like a Project Cars, if they just threw up a million dollars or just pick a number, something crazy, and then is everyone gonna flock to it because of the money? Um, I, I I don't know if it, if it, it you know. Um, so it is exciting to think about. Mm. On to cup number two. Okay, great. <laughs> I feel a little amped up. I feel like the coffee's working. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so good. Um, I got, I'm going to try to stay up, I guess, as late as possible. Because right now, for my time, it's like 4 p.m. But it's like, what a, it's, you know, late evening for, for here, local time. But my plane doesn't leave till like noon local time tomorrow. So it, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, it's just fun to think about, and uh, it's fun to be a part of the process. I mean, I, I guess I'm a part of the process, and uh, Fernando, you know, Fernando sees sees what's going on. That, I mean, that, that's why he he formed this team. That's why he's he's into it. He he sees what's going on. You know, the smart smart guys know what's going on, 
and he has the capabilities and the resources to be able to put something like this together and really be, you know, try to be on the cutting edge of some of this stuff. Um, so it'd be exciting to see what what, what unfolds um, in the next couple of years with all this stuff. And, you know, you don't even have to wait a couple of years anymore. You're looking at, uh, you know, things are happening so fast, you only have to wait uh, just a matter of months before uh, some of this big stuff gets announced or big big events start start going off but uh yeah anyway um shout out to samantha i love you i'm i'm gonna, i'm coming home soon so don't worry and this video is 15 minutes already okay great hope you guys have enjoyed the, some of the vlogs i try to do my best i'm not really a youtube creator video guy but it's fun to do on these uh on these little uh, trips that i've been taking um it's been wild man who, who would have thunk you know sitting in my mom's basement and then moving to my uh, wife's basement playing video games would get me a, a, a Fernando Alonso handshake and uh, signing up to an esports team as an ambassador. I mean, uh, okay. But uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. And all the guys, Charlie's really cool. Charlie, uh, manager, you know, he set all the, the logistics up and everything. And shout out to Charlie because that, that would not be easy. You got all these people from all around the world and he's got to get them to one location at a certain time, at a certain place for an hour and a half of an event, and then that's it. Be like, okay, well, but to get everyone here and to get everyone, you know, and and, and ASICs came through with the, the gear that we were wearing and all that stuff. So it, it came together, and a lot of people did a lot of work. All I did was show up to the airport and follow my itinerary. It's easy. It was easy for me, and uh, so shout out to everybody involved in making uh, decisions and getting uh, doing all the legwork for it. Because uh, I can't imagine that'd be that'd be the most stressful thing is making sure everyone shows up in the right place at the right time. Um. Anyway, uh, yes, yeah, uh, Spain. Wow. Um. Uh, besides the lack of uh, washcloths, uh, it is an absolutely beautiful country, and I'm so glad I came here. Um. Samantha's gonna be so jealous. I'm gonna have to take her. <laughs> We're gonna have to come. I'm gonna have to take bring her here at some point. So I'll have to come back. But the just the scene, the scenery, because um, it's a four four hour drive from Madrid to Oviedo. So you see a lot of the countryside, and it is absolutely uh, astonishing. It's just uh, really awesome sights, and uh, it'd be cool to kind of get off the highway and kind of traverse and, and, you know, I'm sure there's some really cool scenic roads that'll take you up and around and down the mountains and stuff. The tunnels are cool. A lot of tunnels. Um, but yeah, beautiful country and I'm glad I came. And then the other night when we went out, we tried to get a taste of what it's like to be in Spain and the, uh, the hotel receptionist had, uh, recommended that, uh, restaurant that we went to where they pour the cider from like way up here. Don't be anywhere near the guy pouring the cider because it's going everywhere. The floors are wet. I almost fell. Now at my age, somebody at my age, if I, if I fall and I slip, uh, it's uh, it's gonna be hard getting up. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I, I made sure I just shuffled my feet. You know, uh, I'm from the Midwest. I know how to walk on slippery surfaces. You just take it easy. Just take it easy. You know. <laughs> anyway, so that was fun and uh, had some good food. Had the lamb chops and. Uh, yeah, just good uh, camaraderie with the team. And we, we did some team building events. We did a couple trust falls. You know, it's always good uh, to do to, to really, to really, uh, 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 really uh, a blend, you know, blend in, you know, that it's team teamwork, you know. So that was good. But anyway, oh, this video is too long, 20 minutes. So uh, I don't know. I guess that's really it. Like I said, I got the shirt, um, got the postcard signed. And uh, met Fernando Alonso, man. What's it like meeting Fernando Alonso? He's a great guy, man. I mean, uh, I told him I, 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 when we, we were in a couple locations, and as we're walking, I was like, hey, man, we got to get you on iRacing. Max is on there, and uh, Lando's on there. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll take it any way I want to take it. But, yeah, no, I, so uh, he's, he's a cool guy. Uh, like I said earlier, he's down to earth, you know. He's got a lot on his plate. And he's just trying to get it done. So, but uh, no, he didn't seem like bothered or didn't seem uh, 
like everyone like it was a nuisance to him none of this so like he was genuinely like you know i had a smile on his face and uh yeah just i mean just people are people you know what are you gonna do uh so um he's just a busy guy so yeah it was cool to uh talk to him and meet him and shake his hand and become uh, officially uh, part of the uh, team so and he's uh I, I knew he wasn't like the tallest person in the world but um in videos and stuff you just think he's much taller than he actually is but i'm 5'11 with shoes on and um yeah i was um definitely taller than him so I, that that kind of threw me off but um yeah he's a good guy and um yeah i guess that's all i keep saying the same thing over and over <laughs> this is a matt malone vlog where uh too long didn't read had a great time spain's awesome fernando is the is the man uh be checking back for more thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out and i'll just upload this right away and uh yeah just be hanging out in the uh hotel and then tomorrow i got a lot of waiting around and then the next stream if everything goes well the next stream will be on wednesday so um see you for more vlogs if i have anything more to say and uh, otherwise uh, wednesday for the uh stream so thank you guys so much and uh, like and comment and subscribe and uh, sign up uh, to my uh, 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 MySpace account because I'm I'm dropping a new album there uh, soon. It's a FA Racing rap uh, video, uh, uh, music video, so it's gonna be great. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>